Here is a question from one of my viewers. Can you provide any tips on how to pull together a holiday meal, including any make-ahead tips? I've had this request many times, and since Thanksgiving is coming, I thought it's a perfect time to address the subject of high-pressure meals. Long ago, Thanksgiving was turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and pie. But now that we're in the farm-to-table era, we also want a gratin of root vegetables and roasted Brussels sprouts and sautéed green beans and butternut squash soup. Oh, and don't forget to accommodate your allergic nephew, your brother-in-law who is vegetarian, and your sister who is a paleo convert. Basically, Thanksgiving is a culinary equivalent of sending an out-of-shape person to run a marathon. This meal will even stress out professional chefs, unless they have more than one oven. Guess how many ovens I have? One! That's why Thanksgiving advice that I'll dish out will be slightly less ambitious than Martha Stewart's. Make a menu wish list of all the dishes you personally want to cook and all the dishes you think are necessary for your family not to kill you. For example, my family is perfectly cool without turkey. Yours might not be. Maybe sweet potatoes with marshmallows are a must. Maybe not. If you have somebody from extended family who absolutely must have a certain side dish, see if they can bring it. Delegate as much as possible. Also realize that not all your favorite dishes have to be served in the same meal. If some side dish didn't make it to the Thanksgiving table, why not serve it some other time during Thanksgiving weekend? One year, I served stuffing for breakfast with poached eggs. I don't mean leftover stuffing, I mean the only stuffing I served that Thanksgiving was done for breakfast. And everyone lived. So now that you have your pie in the sky menu, it's time to get realistic by making a schedule. The schedule should include shopping, cooking, cleaning, ironing, table setting, getting hair cut, and every single errand you hope to get done before the big day. Don't just say general things like, on Wednesday, I'll cook these five dishes. Write it out by the hour. And the schedule should also include the cookware that you'll need for each dish and the oven temperature. This way, you can identify any potential conflicts. Now go back to your schedule and double all your time estimates to account for distractions, interruptions, and other unforeseen circumstances. This is a perfect time to start dropping things from your menu right and left. Trust me, that side dish is not worth your sanity. Several times I have ditched not just the turkey, but the protein part of the meal entirely, and made a whole feast out of many, many different vegetables and the pie. This worked great, because I didn't have to limit myself only to veggies that have to be done ahead of time. But if your family wants turkey and stuff, be very careful with which vegetables you choose to serve. Brussels sprouts might be delicious when just roasted, but they'll turn soggy if you cook them ahead. Now keep in mind that your guests might want to use your oven to warm up the side dishes they brought, so don't count on roasting those vegetables last minute. I would also avoid green vegetable dishes that have to be both hot and crisp at the same time. With everything else going on, they might end up either mushy or cold. What vegetables can be made ahead of time? I made a list for you. Sweet potatoes, carrots, parsnips, turnips, beets, winter squash, and cauliflower can be roasted ahead, even the previous day, and either served at room temperature or rewarmed. If you get your veggies done ahead of time, you will not have the temptation to pile them on into a really thick dish, because they're not gonna roast very well that way. They need to be in a single layer. A butternut squash soup or a kale salad can be a good way to add a veggie to your table without any last-minute hassle. Kale salad will only get better if it sits in your fridge with the dressing overnight, and pretty much all soups taste best the next day. 
Whenever I entertain a lot of people, I avoid doneness sensitive proteins like the plague. I want to socialize with my guests, not babysit my meat. That's why I love braises. They can be made ahead and kept warm as long as you want. Can you braise a turkey? Yes, but it only works on turkey thighs, not turkey breasts. So if your family is okay with that, may I recommend red wine braised turkey thighs? They are fantastic. The link is below. Pie dough can be frozen as long as you want. So make your pie dough right now and freeze it. The day before you plan to roll it out, move it from the freezer to the fridge. And you can even roll it out the day before baking and wrap those pie circles in plastic wrap and put in the fridge. Or fit them into pie plates and then wrap in plastic and put in the fridge. Some pie fillings can be made ahead too, so all you'll have to do the day of Thanksgiving is fill and bake. I'm devoting the next few weeks on my channel to making mashed potatoes, stuffing, and apple pie into make-ahead dishes. But don't worry, we won't sacrifice the taste. If anything, I think we'll improve it. So I hope you come back for those, and if you want a list of forgiving make-ahead vegetable dishes, look below this video. What am I cooking for Thanksgiving? I'm thinking of duck. My kids think that duck is the best turkey. And how can you argue with that? This video was brought to you by viewers like you. If you liked it, click here to support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.